and that the waters of the flood were also understood to represent her menstrual blood, drawn like a psychic tide on the moon's gravitic net, and that only when this cycle stopped was a child to be expected to follow. The three squiggles also represent mathematical subtraction. Not only by erosion in the form of the waves they represent symbolically, but also in the image itself, which measures not only three waves, but also three peak-to-trough wavelengths on each as well. Thus, the flood is a symbol of the Trinity, or the twin bars of the cross reunited with the circle in a three-in-one, one-in-three symbol yet concealing and only partially revealing the hidden and occluded secret of the central point of the circle representing zero. The squiggles thus symbolize the emanation or starfire or three mothers. The three squiggles also reflect the three pillars of democratic government, representative, judicial, and executive. The square in 2D cube in 3D and tesseract or hypercube in 4D are all symbols of time, the squaring or exponential doubling of the diameter of the plane circle. It is said that Aphrodite, Venus, sprang from the head of Zeus, Jupiter, and this can be seen to reflect the manner of the exponential expansion of the dot to the line to the square plane to the cube to the tesseract, etc. This reflects a higher dimension of measurement to start with than the circle, because the dot, the circle, the sphere, and torus measure the line seen from head on as a singularity, origin point, or dot while the square's closest 1D component is the line seen from the side as a length. The duality of point and line is therefore reconciled in the three squiggle symbol between the cross and circle motif and the square symbol of exponents. The waves are simultaneously particles, circles, and waves, lines. The square therefore acts as the cornerstone measurement of society, measuring the perfect right angle, occurring nowhere in nature, reflecting humanity's ability to impose our ideals on nature. The square thus represents the symbol of man as perfect measure, as it is written in the religious history myths. We are made and created in the image and likeness of the one who made and created us. The box is also the antithetical symbol of the cross, such that when a cube unfolds and is flattened onto a plane, it becomes a Calvary cross of six squares. The swastika usually has twelve, the Tao cross has ten, etc. Because the square extends into the cube over space and into the tesseract over time, Another symbol for the box is the X or sideways cross, connecting the corners rather than the midpoints. The X and the T-shaped crosses overlap to form the eightfold middle way of Buddha Dharma, between the Four Noble Truths toward transcendence from reincarnation. This wheel of the lokas with eight spokes is a common symbol of Buddhism. It is a combination of the square and circle symbols. Just as the square symbolizes exponential rather than the spherical collapse or right angle radiative expansion of arithmetic patterns, it is indicative of multiplication or the addition of additions. The pentagram star then represents division or the subtraction of subtractions. Its variegating interior angles and outward stellations counterbalance ten lines of the star with the ten points between these lines to form an ideogram that reflects the utmost height of mental evolution and civil sciences imagined by the original ancient people codifying this alphabet. 
It represented the five fingers on each hand, which is common to all animals as well, but especially to man as a symbol for our supremacy over nature allowed by the human thumb. The fifth logo was the highest form of pre-diluvial theoretical science, but has been studied in secret since the time of Pythagoras. Thus, the ancients prior to Pythagoras all venerated the mysteries of the pentagram symbol. They noticed very early that 2 plus 3 equals 5, and that 2 thirds is the golden ratio, which, if plotted on a line, can be repeated in a fractal to form a perfect pentagram. This shape was observed also in the sidereal rotations of the planet Venus, such that in the time it takes Earth to circle the Sun once, Venus has circled it five times. This correlation was made to describe the goddess Venus as the daughter of the moon goddess. However, this eon was not at that time believed to have occurred. Thus, Venus became associated with the crescent circle glyph, and both became associated with the lands of the Fertile Crescent. The Atlantean Alphabet